Allo Allo short series review. This takes place in Nazi-occupied France. World War II, René Artois just wants to run his cafe in a small town in France, but the Nazis want him to be a collaborator, and the French Resistance wants him to, you know, help them out. And both of them threaten to shoot him if he's not going to go along with it. This has every faction just coming up with schemes to further their own ends. You know, say you'll have the French Resistance, they, maybe they want to blow up a railway. The Germans want to, you know, stop that from happening, and so on and so on. And everyone ends up in disguise, sometimes even twice a, an episode, and various objects have to be hidden around the cafe or elsewhere. And there are many hilarious moments where odd occurrences or something being hidden in, an, in a strange place has to be explained to someone who must not know the reality of what is going on. Every joke about Nazis are made in this, but the Brits who made this don't stop there. They go for every major player, except America, in World War II, including the Italians. And don't worry, they made plenty fun of themselves as well. The British characters in this are probably the stupidest in the entire show. A lot of the humor here comes from these very intricate plots and what sometimes causes them to go seriously awry and how everyone has this secret mission and is in disguise and keeping it a watch on the others and, you know. The humor tends to be quite silly. There's a lot of sexual humor. Sometimes it goes for straight up ridicule of the Nazis. But there is a certain amount of cleverness to it, and certainly the plots are very intricate and very richly detailed in just how everything is going to work out. They keep coming up with these schemes that just the moment you hear them, you're thinking, that'll never work. And just, you know, the various explanations for the hidden objects and the like. There is also quite a bit of verbal comedy and wordplay. And, you no, know, obviously, if jokes about Nazis offend you, this is a sitcom about World War II, then this is not a show for you. If you like this review and want a more detailed one, check below, it's there as a video response. If not, it'll be in the description box. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.